the image that I've shared just earlier, this one, is made by her? Is that right? Nobody's mentioning her in the comment. Ah, there it is. Credit, give credit to the artist. Amelia, yeah, that's her. Oh my god, no. I'm gonna be blacklisted now. <laughs> I'm gonna be blacklisted next. There was a big drama. Oh, so we do know what happened. Right. Let's read I, let's read the reaction yeah. of Ankama to the legal thing that has been mentioned. So this man is the most They separated on so bad terms that her name is blacklisted on the Ankama official Twitch channel so that if you mention her name uh, the moderator automatically deletes your uh, name that is insane Wow Holy shit Wow it sounds like it was uh Wow So it's not the first time that uh, that I receive a screen where somebody got banned in the chat during a live by mentioning my name positively or not uh, I am, I am a bannable offense or a motive to get banned. I must admit to you that it is a bit sad the manner in which I'm being erased a little bit every day. It's starting to be a bit much. I'm trying. I'm trying my best to think that it's alright but it's, come, it's starting to weigh on me. I'm a bit tired. Every message of support that I receive Thanking me about my work that I've done before or now puts a little smile in the corner of my mouth and a massive Good feel in my belly. That's in that's crazy. Her work is awesome. What happened? Does anybody have any scoop? What, what is the story behind her leaving given the quality of her work? Wow Why why did she leave why did they get rid of her? There was a big drama a few months ago, also due to her selling Dofus artwork. Oh, and Akama took a strict legal position. I see. Okay, 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 okay. But her artwork is just sublime. It's next level quality. Yeah, Artagun, you're uh, right. People send her a screenshot and she turns yes. it into artwork. But does she sell these? Yes. I would see why Ankama would take a legal position. She's making money from their artwork. It's inspired. Yes, she makes it, but it's inspired from the game. Right, I'm going to read. This is Ankama's, ooh, the official at Ankama Games, not even Dofus, this is Ankama game. Right, let's read, let's read the reaction of Ankama to the legal thing that has been mentioned. So, in the face of the reactions of a certain message of the artist concerning our request for her to withdraw some of her creations, some of her work, we insisted to bring clarity about our position on this topic. This is the, the title of their... Uh... So, hello everyone. A few days ago, uh, a few days ago, we have had to deliver to Colibri, who is the artist, a request to withdraw certain work or creations of, her that, of hers that she was putting in sale. Okay, en vente. So she was making money from that work. This is a procedure that we start in a timely manner, whenever we estimate as a matter of procedure or punctuellement is timely. Uh, so they do that without having to think about it, it's something that automatically happens. Whenever they estimate that the actions of a creator or a female creator, because French has male and female for everything, créateur and créatrice, uh, sort of... Uh, uh, bring harm to our intellectual property, our IP. So they automatically send this letter whenever they deem that some content creator has brought negative harm to them in terms of use of their intellectual property. Okay, okay. So this is not single malt using their logo in a thumbnail for a video that only three people will watch. This is someone big that is making money from their work. We do not mix Every However, we do not mix everything. Uh, we are quite happy and glad to see artists regularly share their creations that are inspired from our universe, our universes. We do not wish to put in question the showcases of 
creativity and talent from members of our community. Where we draw the line, however, and where the starting of this automatic procedure that we have started with Colibri right now and others is when there is a logic of commercial productivity where, the, where they're making money, essentially. Where we start this automatically is where someone is using our intellectual property and benefiting materially from it, making money from it. So I don't know where they draw the line there. If technically, if a content creator makes a video and uses a thumbnail using their images and stuff like that, they are making money from it. But I think they mean when they make serious money from it, when they become big, that becomes problematic. I don't know if there is a distinction between artwork and um, but, but videos, I, which is, do, I don't know. Do you but here they are saying that where they see someone making a lot of money from their work which is inspired from their universe or universes, then they have to take action and that's where they draw the line. So, hold on, there's more to it. However, 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 comma, we tolerate the creation of content that is inspired from our universes for remuneration when this stays isolated, occasional, and an amount that is very little, so it's not- Ah, there it is, they've answered the question I had. So that was the only question I had, so... They tolerate the use of content that is inspired from their universes for remuneration, for money. So my videos, for example, and my streams, I imagine. Uh, when it remains isolated, occasional, and small amounts. So these are the three characteristics. Isolated, so if you make one piece of work and you sell it one time, that's fine. But if you open a shop and you exclusively sell artwork that is inspired from... No, because it's not occasional. It violates that rule. And it's not isolated because it's constant and continuous. And the amount is no longer s insignificant and small. Right, good. Very often, artists will contact us beforehand and in good faith to share their project with us using this email. This, everything that is happening right now, should not block your creativity or your willingness to get inspired from our universes to express yourself. This is not a matter of nerfing or putting barriers in the way of your creative spirit. However, but in, in simple terms, it is more in the spirit of being more transparent about our intentions, the Ankama Games team. While this is a big drama thing, I will have to say, I first of all do not, I've discovered the artists, the artist now, and I've discovered the drama now, and I don't know the scale of her creativity and work, how much she made from it, we don't have any information about that, but I suspect that there's two things, she either was too big, and the scale was massive, and she's very well known by the looks of it. Her posts garner a lot of attention. So it's either that robbed them off the wrong way, the scale. She triggered one of those three, which is scale, not occasional, it's not isolated, and she was making big money. Or the other thing I suspect will have something to do with it is the fact that she left, by the looks of it, on bad terms. If your name became a bannable offense, in their channel means you have not left on good terms and I can tell you people have left on bad terms and their names are not blacklisted like uh, Pablitos that I've mentioned earlier he was a content creator he's not on good terms with the company but nobody ever gets banned he tags on the lives he comments himself he's fine to be there but it t th this tells me that there's a lot more to the story between the company and this creator than just Here's my resignation, she, see you later. She either made it so big that she's making a lot of money and they don't like that. Of course they wouldn't like that. Who would? Or she left on so bad terms that they've made it a point that those rules no longer apply to her. And that's fair, because it's their work at the end of the day. They've decided that it no longer applies to her and it doesn't matter whether she makes one euro or a million euros. That's it, she's not allowed. And that's fair enough. They usually don't pay that specific attention to people for small amounts or insignificant things unless there was personal beef. And I'm detecting some of that in this story. Holy shit! <laughs> what?
That's quite right, Dbload. A lot of them do sell artwork for stuff that they do not own. But not all artists that do that have a precedent with the company. Worked for it, left on presumably bad terms, and are blacklisted in all communications and live and... Uh, platforms owned or used by the company that they worked for. So I think there's more to this story than just she left and that's it. We've accidentally found a post that was remarkable about how they could fix some of the uh, visual problems that I found with the game. I've made a post about how I quite think they should step up the design of the characters and somebody in the comments pointed out that the work I've shared belongs to this woman. And then we went down the rabbit hole into a whole story of her having worked at the company, being banned, and Kama suing her or something like that. They started the legal procedure and they've made an official statement about her and we are still deep into the rabbit hole having a conversation about this. <laughs> I do not know Artagoon, I absolutely have no idea. I think for content creators like myself, while we are using their game, it's one, advertisement for them. The other thing is the value that people go and seek in the videos is not necessarily the gameplay itself. That's why you see that uh, most famous content creators are sort of influencers because people are more attracted to the person that is commenting, delivering, entertaining than the game itself. And that's why a lot of them do reactions like how can how can you justify Asmund Gold and other react channels they their content is having somebody else's content and talking about it the way they justify this is by a doctrine called fair use they're making fair use of that in order to create something so the content that I'm watching now is not that girl's video I'm watching Asmund Gold create value around that. He's using her work as part of something bigger. So I suppose that's exactly what I'm doing as well by making a YouTube video. I don't know. In any case, I can sleep well at night in the full knowledge that no video of mine will ever reach a million views, number one, and I will never make it big enough to have beef with the company. So... Do you see that? That's peace of mind. <laughs> that comes from being mediocre. Not sell something, yep. Artwork is a bit different. She is selling proper artwork that gets money directly. It's different from a video and then you rely on many eyes to get advertisement revenue. I don't know. I'm not, I am not a lawyer. But this is incredible, the fact that they've, uh, you get banned on an Ankama Live if you mention her name. And from a complete third party, I do not work for Ankama, and I will never work for Ankama, I've said it. I will never work for the company. If they give me a contract or a job offer, I am not taking it. So in that capacity, I am not advocating anything for the company in a paid position, never going to happen. And I don't know her. I don't have beef with her. I don't like her. I don't want anything from her. In fact, I didn't know she existed up until 20 minutes ago. As a complete independent third party, I think her work is fantastic. Regardless of why she got fired or what happened in the background. Her artwork is next level. And I like it. It's crazy. It's crazy. She's good. I mean, why would I never want to work for Ankama? Because I don't want to marry... I'm doing this for pleasure. I've quit nearly a decade of work in finance to make content. I don't give a shit about the traditional way of doing work. I'll work... I will, I'll sort myself out. I don't want a contract of employment. Because now it's fun. It's amusing. I love it. I can wake up at 2 p.m. and fire up alive. I don't want to make a video. I'm not going to make a video. I want to make three videos today, I'll make seven videos today. What I dislike is having to wake up at 8 a.m. because Henry Ford in the 1920s decided that that's how work should be done. And then you have a contract of employment where somebody can call your phone and be like, why, why, why haven't you clocked in? I just complete, I'm fed up with it.
It happened to me for 10 years plus. I'm done with it. I, I think you can hear the frustration in my voice when I say I'm fed up with it. And I, I kid you not, finance is incredibly cutthroat. I would wear a suit, I would shave every day. If I didn't log into my station to start, you have to be available for content. I used to work for the largest wealth uh, management company in the entire UK. If you're not there before time and a client calls, the client that calls has an average investable asset of three million pounds with the company. If they call, not only do you need to pick up the phone, but you need to be on your absolute best behavior. Because the expectation of someone that has fuck you money is different from ordinary people. They can buy everything that they want. So they're not going to take shit from me having woken up five minutes late. You have to be on your fucking best behavior at 8 a.m. And if they say you need to drive down to Essex, so that I can talk to you about why my portfolio is not doing well. You better be there. They don't give a shit that you live in the north of England. You better pack up your shit or send someone right now. If they tell you I'm in the middle of a golf course in the middle of Scotland and I need someone to pass by for 4 p.m. to have a conversation about something that is troubling me, you better organize <laughs> and not even miss a beat. So the pressure is so high that the reaction that I've had to after 10 years is I'm gonna completely let down and chill at home. I can afford to do this for a year or two, so I'm gonna chill down, take it easy and work out what I want to do next without any pressure from Ankama. Imagine Manaya calling you at 8 p.m. Why are you not in the office? Just I would fucking lose my shit. <laughs> I would lose my shit. <laughs> I would completely flip the desk and go live somewhere in the jungle where I can live day to day. If I if Ankama wants to do anything with me, it will have to be a collaboration of like for like. It will be there will be no contract, they won't be stipulating any rules on me or anything. I will not do that anymore with anyone. I don't want anyone imposing their rules on me for a very long period of time until I rest from the shell shock that is 10 years of work. But if they want, I'm happy with conditions that you need to meet that they impose on everyone. That's fine. Like uh, when you're a content creator and they give you a campaign, they'll be like, you can do this, you can't. I'm fine with that. But signing a contract where somebody's on top of me overlooking my work and they're, they're able to pull my source of income overnight. No, it's not going to happen. No, thanks. Right. We've received this link from Jay. Saying, do you want to go full drama? Question mark. I'm worried about this now. <laughs> I'm literally worried about this. <laughs> we have been in a rabbit hole for the last 30 minutes while the maintenance is happening. And now Jay just sent me a worrisome message saying, do you want to go into the rabbit hole? As if what we've been doing for the last half hour was expedient, was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> So, I think we're gonna step it up an extra notch, I think. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, this is Gabby. I do not know any context to this. I've been sent this link without any context or explanation. And we need to figure out what is happening, right? So, this is someone called Gabriel Astre. As much as Ankama has cooking equipment up the ass. <laughs> I think this is a French equipment. This is, this must be a French expression for uh, uh, being stuck up, like having a uh, baton up your ass or whatever you call it. I'm okay, but she has already done a collection of NFT with the design of Dofus in it. Ooh, who is he referring to? Is he referring to the creator from earlier? What the hell is happening? Right, so this guy or girl or person or it, they are saying that they know that Ankama is stuck up. Okay, but... She, someone, has made an entire collection and designs using actual Dofus stuff in it. So he's sort of telling on her? Is he telling on her for having used up? Right, let's have a look at the screens. The proof for anyone that is interested. So, Amel, maybe that's her. Is Colibri called Amel? Yes. Amel, yeah, so. Is he in a voice chat with her? So he's in a call with her. That looks like her profile picture with some two uh, with somebody else imagine that you work for me and my colleague virgil on a design for many many months 
and even today we are also working on it nobody has had the willingness to give us work so audacious for some for continuity of work i don't know what that means i would be losing in this story as you might have suspected so anyway you know you can support us you don't need to panic you can help us here you can help us decide the future of any moon okay any moon the future of any moon is in your hands so uh as so i can understand that this world is complicated and the project looks mad but you have to start somewhere right so what i'm gathering now is that there's pokemon and animal any moon maybe she made some art inspired from pokemon and dofus i don't know is this a press pick? Is this meant to be a press pick? Is this what she's been... Oh, okay. This is the first time. All right, all right. This is the first time I see a Pokemon-inspired artwork with a literal Emerald Dofus. This, I don't want any legal argument. This is a ripoff of Dofus content. This is an Emerald Dofus. It looks like it. It's it. Yeah, okay, I see. Oh, so she's just slapped an emerald dofus next to everything. I mean, yes. If you saw this without any context, you would think that dofus are making this, but they obviously aren't. And so the accusation here, at least by this guy, is that she started an entire line of NFTs or digital images that she's selling with the emerald dofus next to them. And I'm seeing four images. First of all, if you are stupid enough to have invested in NFTs, then you deserve to lose your money with this ugly artwork. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. This is nothing like the work that she's done. Uh, stay away from NFTs. Uh, but in the matter that concerns her beef with Ankama, yeah. This is a clear Emerald Dofus. It's it's clear. This is a ripoff of um, Pokemon and uh, Ankama both at the same time. That is an Emerald Dofus. I don't want to hear it. She's clearly using their work. No, Jay. More context. Bro, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I just want the servers to open. Please let me in. <laughs> let me in before Jay gives me a heart attack. I'm tired. This is I, I don't have a future as a reaction channel. <laughs> Shit. You can watch you can watch Asmund Gold react about one piece of drama. Literally one small bit of drama for Stop an hour it. and a half, two Get hours. To I'm tired, I can't do this. My career was ruined by Jay in half an hour.